What is going on, everybody? Depraved Slash here. We are back with another music reaction on Depraved. I'm Hellcat. And together we are... Hella Depraved. And we're excited. It's the next Melanie song. We are, definitely. The last one was fabulous. Fabulous. That's what we expect of her. Yes. High expectations. And glued has potential. Has yeah. potential. I, I don't even know what this is going to be about. We'll see. Maybe I'm rubber, you're glue. Or I'm glued to you. Or maybe she thought it was hairspray. Do not use super glue. For anything. Guys, don't use glue for anything outside of its intended purposes. As a matter of fact, don't use anything outside of their intended purposes. Yeah, we don't need all the warning labels. And if you do need them... You, there might be something wrong with you. Yeah. Yeah. Just saying. All right, so anyways, we're going to react to this if you guys already heard it. If not, click the link in the description below. Hop on over to the things coming back. We said that because we're a commentary reaction breakdown comedy channel. What that means is we will pause for any, if not all, of the above. With so, that being said. With that being said, it is time to slash it up and break it down. This is Melanie Martinez with Glued. Let's get it. <laughs> Definitely don't eat it. Yeah, don't eat it. I was I was thinking the same thing, and then I was like, it sounds like she's bathing in it. Yeah. Probably don't do that either. I'm glued to the thoughts in my mind. The past do they go up in the sky? I am glued to the love in you. It swallows me whole. Your heart to they go? Oh, that's not what I want to do. Perfectly attached like a Okay, so she's got some fun little wordplay in here. Yeah. A little bit of alphabet rhyming. A little bit of how many ways can you be glued to somebody or what can you be? I like the noodle on. in the soup. That was cute. And I love the reading off the ABCs until she gets to JK K. as in just kidding. Right. And then breaks and then goes, yeah. I mm -hmm. like the thought circling like a, what, like a hawk in the sky. The very beginning. It's a cute. It's cute. Maybe we all have a strong suit built differently Different experience, different needs I know we can't die at the same time and place But I think about the more I mean, we can die at the same time Right There's ways to make it happen True I don't want to <laughs> But I like that there's different needs We're all built differently Different experiences I mean... Very true. Yep. I have the same time and place. When I think about the morbid parts of life, no more. I'm trying just to focus on the things that hold me so damn close and sticky, sticky, stuck and solidly sealed. I am to this reality. I'm seeing not what I wish to be. Is it necessary to touch what is scary? Sometimes. <clears throat> sometimes I think you need to know the bad to appreciate the good. But that's what she's saying. Like, sometimes she gets so stuck on the morbid stuff that it's almost like she needs to practice gratitude for the good things in life, like glue her thoughts to that and everything to stick herself to this reality versus getting caught up in the vortex, which would be all of the shit going on in her brain about the negative. Right. <clears throat> I like how she put it. Is it necessary to touch me scary? When my pretty feet start to sway You better turn around the other way When the doubt starts creeping in It's hard to let go of all instinctual patterns that I picked up from the environment since a baby cut the Hmm. 
Sounds like she's also kind of at least understanding of some of her negative points. Right. Because it actually kind of started off as like almost like middle of an argument where she's like, yeah, turn around, walk away. Right. Get away from me. But it's also, it's the arguments with herself in terms of like getting sucked back into the negative thoughts and the, the way of thinking and the anxiety and all of that. She's like, no, I got to cut it away. I mean, it's true. Right. Although it's hard to silence yourself. True. Kind of stuck with them. The destination being sticky, stuck, glues all happy, shy, pace me to a new way of being, something to breathe new life in me again. Too. I mean, she she points out that life would be boring if we didn't have the diversity and the trials and so on and so forth, but there would be no hurting. So, right. like, which way is better? But I did like how she said, like, glue my old self shut, like, close that door. Plus, in some civilizations, it was thought that if you, like, wrote down your worries, anxiety, that kind of stuff, and then put it in a sealed envelope or burn it on the fire or whatever you're, you're releasing either last year or that particular train of thought or... To be honest, though, how much of that is psychological? <laughs> a lot of it. Because it's like... But so is focusing <clears throat> on gratitude. Like, a lot of life is... Well, I mean the idea of writing something down right. and burning it, like... You but if you it. believe it as fact, psychologically, it works. It works. It's like manifestation. Focusing well, there's on a, gratitude. There, there, there's a lot of things that work psychologically. Exactly. That I, I mean, so I'm not. So does that mean that it doesn't work? Like that it, that it's not real because it is real. Because you made it real psychologically. Like, like it's that never-ending sort of right. cycle. Like which came first? But yeah, no, I agree with you. It's a psycho cycle. <clears throat> um, that works for people that actually concentrate and learn to believe it. Right. So, I really like this song. I could have done without like the last 45 seconds to a minute of it. Just because it was a repeat? I, again, I'm not a fan of the chorus running four or five times. I did like how she ended it, though. Like, no. ending it on the, is it necessary to touch what is scary, the way that the, the music dipped out. Like, like, the way that it ended is, in terms of like the last five to ten seconds, was right. fine. Yeah. I just, I've never been a big fan, and there's some hip-hop artists that do it um, as well. Yeah. It's just it's a repeated... A repeated chorus four or five times is just not my thing. Once right. or twice. Right. I agree, uh, but lyrically and every other, uh, like, I really, I like this one. Again, it seems like such a sweet, cute song, right. and then, of course, it's Melanie, so you listen and you're like, there's some actual fact, like, layers in there, and um, I also liked kind of, it sounded like a clock was part of the beat the whole time. Right. So, again, another solid song from her. I will say one thing I do know about the After School EP are these are all songs that are about her as opposed to the crybaby character. Right. So. Right. Well, but again, knowing the little that we do, well, what we know about her and some of the stuff that she suffers from or has, you know, it makes sense that 
you have to talk yourself into leaving stuff behind moving on with the new and sometimes that's hard to do and you just kind of want it to happen <laughs> so i've definitely been in those situations <laughs> i think it's easier to get older well kind of your <laughs> ability to just push it aside gets better or what yeah yeah i mean honestly depending on how busy you are too that makes a big difference if you're like on burnout mode with work and everything you really can't deal with some of this stuff yeah <laughs> okay so obviously it also depends on what in life true as well um a lot you know everybody handles things differently um it, it just depends on right. how good the thing is that is gone as well. I think I've become better able to prioritize what actually is something necessary to deal with versus something that is petty, basically. Right. Well, like, okay, so in, in terms of just the difference of moving on, right, so when me and my ex-wife first split up, and got divorced, it was extremely hard for me. Right. Because there were a lot of good times there. There were kids. There's, right. um, like six, seven years of life together. Right. That I didn't think was all bad. Because, again, the divorce itself honestly came completely out of left field for me. Right. Um, but then there's relationships like my last one, where it was extremely easy. Right. <laughs> That's, yeah. Extremely easy. Right. right. But, uh... Again, it's yeah. life. Take the good with the bad, y'all. Yeah. Honestly, if you live life with the mind state that just life just sucks... <laughs> you're never disappointed. You're never disappointed. <laughs> like, honestly, I probably enjoy life more now that I've come to this realization that life just sucks. Because all the little things that are really good in life stand out that way. Right. And it makes things much more enjoyable. As opposed to thinking everything in life is great and then every day you're just having a bad you day. You get a curveball. Like, Why is this right. happening to me? Right. No, it's because life sucks. Right. It's a cynical, jaded, realistic point of view. It's just how it works. True. But yeah, then the good does stand out a hell of a lot better. Very true. <laughs> Alright, so with that being said, if you guys liked the video, slash the like button, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, comment down below, what did you think of Melanie Martinez's glued? Also comment down below if there's anything else that you guys want to see reaction to, check the description below for all the things. Push our buttons, come join us on our other social media platforms, mostly Twitter if you want to. My lips were starting to slow down as my words kept I saw coming. that, yeah. That was fun. We love you guys, thank you all for watching, cannot wait to see you, depraved people later. Peace.